Fellow Buckeyes, are you tired of the lies and cover-ups that are committed by our very own USG candidates and senators alike? Who would have thought that all the corruption that occurs in real politics also happens in our own student government? As a student, you might be wondering, who can you trust? The answer? USG Outsiders. Hi, I'm Jackson Donaldson. And I'm Matt Loxley. And we're here today to announce our candidacy for President and Vice President of USG. Millions of OSU students are asking questions about the corruption in USG, and we want to be the men who find you answers. We have no political experience. We have no concept of ethics codes or rules. We have no idea how to run a student government. As such, we will take shortcuts. We will stab our enemies in the back. But we will be honest about it. We have no leadership experience whatsoever. But we do have opinions and ideas. Jackson and I make a great balance for USG President and Vice President. We may not always agree on certain issues, but we understand that compromise and bipartisanship are key to getting the job done. For instance, I believe that GMOs are a hate crime. And I believe every household in America has the right to nuclear weapons to protect themselves from invaders. But we still respect each other. Perhaps you're concerned about the lack of diversity on this ticket. Allow Matt to explain why you shouldn't be. What do two straight white guys know about diversity? Luckily, I'm gay, so I still count as the token minority VP choice. And we're going to make this university more diverse than ever with our new eco-friendly gay quota program, where by 2020 we demand that 45% of students be on a sustainable pathway to homosexuality. We will destroy all literature that disagrees with us. Fahrenheit 451, more like Fahrenheit 450 done with that book report. He's basically black. If you're still unsure about voting for us, let me remind you who we're running against. Stephen and Lauren want you to vote for something more, but what is this something? You know what's something? Genocide. You deserve better than a candidate who supports genocide. You're Ohio State, not Rwanda. Mary and Carla were recently implicated in the Turning Point USA scandal. Now, even if they didn't take the money, the fact that they thought about it is troubling. As your candidates, we won't think about things like that. We'll think about more important things, like, what is USG? What does it stand for? What does it do? The kinds of questions that you would ask. Andrew and Sophie say they're here with you, but judging by their appearance, They've been there at a Vineyard Vines clearance rack. We used to dress like that, but six months ago we made the choice to burn all of our salmon shorts and only wear organic, locally sourced clothing. And finally, Brooks Brothers. Not only did the stars of The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody ruin your favorite clothing brand, they also took money from one of those weird conservative super PACs that loves eagles but hates immigrants. Brooks Brothers, this isn't libel. This isn't slander. It's a question. Do you guys each other. Our opponents took money from a super PAC that denies climate change. And I can tell you we'll never do that. The only donations we'll accept will be Marxist in nature, with Ukrainian origins stemming from the Party of Regents, a pro-Russian political party that helped expedite and support the annexation of Crimea. AKA, no racism here. We know you have a lot of options, but we'd love to have your vote. So please, cast a ballot for us and well, let's just see what happens. On March 6th through 8th, vote from Jackson and Matt. We might be corrupt, but we're honest. Jackson and Matt, corrupt, but honest.